Uh, we have a very aggressive schedule today, so uh, we uh, want to make sure we stay on time and be respectful of those of you who are uh, leaving this afternoon. Uh, my name is Mark Williams. I'm the director of the Genomic Medicine Institute at Geisinger Health System in beautiful Danville, Pennsylvania. Um, and I'll be uh, hosting and moderating the meeting uh, today. Uh, and my uh, co-moderator is Terry Manolio. Hello, welcome, welcome to Dallas. Um, we're delighted that everybody could come and uh, we're excited about the meeting. So I think we'll, we'll get started uh, uh, without further ado. So the thing that we've uh, always done, although it's getting increasingly challenging uh, as the meeting gets larger and larger, um, one of the uh, things that is really important about the meeting is the networking, which you guys have obviously leaped into uh, uh, right off the bat. So uh, what we want to do to facilitate that is to uh, go around and make sure that um, uh, everybody at least has a slight idea of who everybody else is. But given the number of people we're going to need to do this very expeditiously, so please just name an institution and we'll do the inner you first, starting there. And please use your microphones. This is being recording and webcast. You have to turn, turn it on. Press the button. Thanks. My name is Kara Vitek. I'm from Rochester, Minnesota Mayo Clinic. Michelle Bruns, American Heart Association. Uh, Bruce Corf, University of Alabama at Birmingham, and also American College of Medical Genetics and Genomics. Don Arnett, University of Alabama at Birmingham, President of the American Heart Association. Uh, Mike Watson, American College of Medical Genetics and Genomics. I'm Bob. No, I'm uh, Bob. <laughs> Bob Saul, representing the American Academy of Pediatrics. Mary Relling, St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, Memphis. Great. American College of Cardiology. Uh, Bob Roberts from uh, University of Ottawa, American College of Cardiology. John Maris from Children's Hospital of Philadelphia with ASCO. Eric Green, National Human Genome Research Institute. Uh, Terry Manolio from NHGRI. You heard me already. Push it harder, okay. Uh, from Intermountain Healthcare in the University of Utah, I'm representing the uh, American College of OBGYN today. Tom Nasca, the ACGME. Rex Chisholm, Northwestern University, Chicago. Brad Osenberger, NHGRI. William Powell Vanderbilt and the American Society for Clinical Oncology. Sandy Swain, President of the American Society of Clinical Oncology. Jeff Ginsburg, Duke University. Cliff Huddis, Memorial Sloan Kettering, and President-elect of ASCO. Mayor Irons from Boston Children's Hospital and the Association of Professors of Human and Medical Genetics. Marie Coppola, the CEO of the Accreditation Council for Continuing Medical Education. Uh, Pearl O'Rourke, Partners Healthcare Boston. Howard McLeod, University of North Carolina and Pearl O'Rourke Fan Club. <laughs> Laura Rodriguez, NHGRI. Aaron Ramos, NHGRI. Marin Schooner, uh, VA Greater Los Angeles, and uh, UCLA School of Medicine. Murugu Manicum, Ohio State. David Bick, Medical College of Wisconsin. Ned Kalanj, the Colorado Trust, and University of Colorado, representing the EGAP Working Group. Jonas Almeida, University of Alabama at Birmingham. Hoesan Faruqi, Laboratory Corporation of America. Sean Harley, Cincinnati Children's Hospital and the University of Cincinnati. Federico Innocent, University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill. Kathy Wicklin, Northwestern University and also the National Society of Genetic Counselors. Maureen Smith, Northwestern University. Chris Bradburn, Johns Hopkins Platt Physics Laboratory, representing the Air Force PC2Z program. Bamidele Tayo, Loyola University, Chicago. Kelly Filipski, NCI. Julie Johnson, University of Florida. Jean Jenkins, Human Ge Re Research Institute. It's too early. <laughs> Derek Scholes, NHGRI. <laughs> Louise Witteroff, National Institute on Drug Abuse. Ray Hirschberger, The Ohio State University. Gail Charvick, University of Washington. Karis Ang, Cleveland Clinic, and Case Western Reserve University, University of Cambridge in England. Um, uh, Catherine Nathanson, University of Pennsylvania. Ebony Bookman, NHGRI. Heather Junkins, NHGRI. 
Wojciech Wiszniewski, Baylor College of Medicine. David Carey, Geisinger Health System. Vince Bonham, NHGRI. Sorry. Satoru Miyano from Human Genome Center of the University of Tokyo, Japan. David Ledbetter, Geisinger Health System. Andy Fawcett, Geisinger Health System. Heidi Rehm, Harvard Medical School and Partners Healthcare. Murray Brilliant, Marshfield Clinic. Uh, Wolfgang Sade, Ohio State University. Laura Getz, Scripps Translational Science Institute. Josh Denny Vanderbilt. Lucia Hindorf, NHGRI. Jean Passamani, NHGRI. Alan Schuldiner, University of Maryland. Scott Weiss, uh, <clears throat> Partner Center for Personalized Genetic Medicine at Harvard Medical School. Mark Retain, University of Chicago. Deborah Leonard, Weill Cornell Medical College, soon to be at University of Vermont, and representing the College of American Pathologists. Katie Johansson Tabor, American Medical Association. Uh, Joan Scott, National Coalition for Health Professional Education and Genetics. Great. Thank you very much. And um, that is a record uh, that was done in four minutes. That's uh, impressive. So um, if we're as efficient with the rest of the meeting, we'll be out of here by about 1 o'clock. So that's great. Um, so again, welcome. This is the fourth uh, iteration of the genomic medicine uh, meeting. Uh, the uh, initial impetus of this meeting was to bring together institutions who are actually implementing some type of genomic medicine, which is described very broadly, including traditional genetics, uh, 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 the genomics and family history. Um, we've um, initially had uh, just gotten together as sort of an internal group to discuss projects that we might collaborate on, but in the course of our discussions realized that uh, at some point we needed to begin to interact with the outside world as well. And as a consequence, as we've talked about challenges and potential barriers to implementation, uh, we've taken uh, the uh, approach to invite um, uh, groups uh, together to discuss some of these issues um, uh, collaboratively. Last time we uh, met with representatives from uh, uh, payers and reimbursement uh, uh, folks to talk more about uh, health systems uh, with genomic medicine. And one of the other issues that uh, I know all of you around the tables are uh, involved in is uh, health professional uh, and um, allied health professional uh, education around uh, this emerging field. And we thought this would be very important uh, to be able to uh, bring together a group to uh, discuss these issues uh, and hopefully develop some uh, opportunities for collaboration that can move this forward. So the intent of the meeting today is to <clears throat> Uh, basically, hear um, what uh, some of the uh, uh, leading uh, professional societies and other organizations are doing uh, with regards to uh, professional education in genetics and genomics, and uh, then at the end uh, of the afternoon uh, begin to discuss uh, what we heard that might uh, represent commonalities and think about how we might be able to leverage um, this into uh, um, uh, places where we can work together to uh, hopefully uh, move the field forward more rapidly. Um, and uh, uh, Terry has one other thing, and then I'll give a couple of logistical issues before we turn it over to Eric. Great. Thank, thanks, Mark. And I, I did want to mention, in, in addition to the professional education aspects of the uh, professional societies, uh, having you all in the room gives us a great opportunity to learn what kind of information or evidence you need to develop guidelines, uh, which are, would presumably be the things that you would educate your professionals on. So, uh, so we would hope that we would have that as a, as a, a second uh, um, uh, emphasis today, too. Thank you. Um, so uh, in terms of the way this is going to work, the, the uh, agenda, I think, is fairly self-explanatory. Uh, we will have a number of uh, more formal uh, presentations uh, uh, that are uh, targeted to a total of 30 minutes, ideally 15 to 20 minutes of formal presentation, followed by uh, a question and answers specific to that. Uh, presentation, um, and then ultimately we'll have a more uh, a broad uh, discussion later this afternoon. As you can imagine, managing uh, a uh, discussion uh, with this large a group of people is challenging. So uh, the way that we've done this in the past that has worked reasonably well is that if you can let Terry and I know through some visible, you know, raising your hand or uh, throwing something or whatever, uh, that you are interested in contributing, we will keep a list 
and we'll try and go in order. Uh, but we have to be very careful not to just uh, launch in like I usually do at meetings um, and uh, then uh, subsequently uh, not get everybody uh, in the queue. So uh, we'll try and be very cautious. So uh, uh, if, if we're not uh, seeing you, um, you know, do whatever you need to do to make yourself uh, more visible. Um, and uh, we will try and um, uh, get to everybody. Uh, and it will be uh, um, the planning group's job to ultimately pull this together uh, into a summary uh, that will be shared with everyone. As I mentioned, this is uh, going to be, uh, this is being webcast, uh, so you'll notice cameras uh, around the room. Um, also, with these types of microphones, usually if there's more than two or three on at any given time, it sort of crashes the, the microphone system. So just be careful that when you're done speaking to uh, turn your microphone off. One um, so one, one other thing that we do try to do to keep the speakers on time is to hold up nasty little signs that say you have five minutes, you have two minutes, you have one minute. Unfortunately, I left those home, so, um, <laughs> so I'll be using, you know, five fingers, two fingers, one finger, and then you may get a different finger at the end. Um, but at any rate, so, so do keep an eye out for that. Thanks. Yeah. Um, I, do we have the capability of doing blurkles on the, web, on the <laughs> webinar? So, all right. Uh, great. So uh, with that as a preliminary, um, uh, we will uh, 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 turn the opening uh, presentation to uh, our uh, fearless leader, uh, Dr. Eric Green, the uh, director of uh, NHGRI. <laughs> 